The film opens by showing a man named Lael Singh. At that time, Lael was sitting in a train, and a moment later, a woman came and sat in front of him. The woman saw Lael's movements which were considered very strange, so that the woman felt very uncomfortable. But suddenly, Lael decides to get to know the woman, and who knows what happened, but suddenly Lael tells her about his childhood and the woman is forced to listen to Lael's story. Then, the film shows Lael's childhood pass. Lael lives in a small village, where he is only raised by his mother who is a farmer, because his father was a victim of war and has died. Lael himself was born with a low IQ, so he is not as smart as other children, and because of that when his mother enrolled him in elementary school, he was always rejected. Until one day, Lael's mother decided to meet the principal and on that day, Lael's mother begged the principal to accept Lael. However, the principal said that Lael had a below average level of intelligence so their school could not accept him. Lael's mother also told the principal that she was willing to do anything as long as Lael could be accepted at the school, even Lael's mother was willing to become a mate for the principal. Finally, after seeing Lael's mother's sacrifice, the principal felt sorry for her and allowed Lael to attend the elementary school. Because he was so stupid, Lael couldn't even walk straight and because of that the doctor gave Lael a tool so he could walk normally. On the first day of school, Lael looks very strange. In addition, he also could not walk upright. Because of that, Lael was bullied by his friends on his first day at school. Not even a single kid wants to sit next to Lael. But when all his friends bully him, Lael meets a girl named Rupa, and Rupa allows Lael to sit next to her. It turns out that Rupa is a very kind-hearted child, so she is also kind to Lael. Since that day, the two of them often spent time together and talked about many things. The scene switches back to the present. On the train, a woman who at first looked uncomfortable with Lael, then began to be interested in what Lael was telling. Lael says that Rupa is the most beautiful woman he has ever met in his life, and somehow, the memories of the first meeting with Rupa keep repeating in his head and he can't forget it. Then, Lael continues to tell the story, and now he tells his relationship with his childhood friend. Rupa and Lael, who are still young, are getting closer and spending a lot of time together, from playing to having fun together. Lael even said that Rupa was one of the people he talked to more, apart from his mother. One night, Lael asks Rupa if when they grow up Rupa wants to marry him. However, at that time Rupa did not answer Lael's question. Later, Lael continues his story and experience when he visits his aunt's house. Lael says that when he was little, he really liked to dance, until one day, he met a young man who liked his dance so the young man imitated Lael's move. The film returns to the present. In the beginning, only one woman was listening to Lael's story, but now it seems that many people are starting to be interested in what Lael is telling. Because many listened to his story, Lael continued to tell that the young man he met when he was little, is now a famous person, because that young man is Shah Rukh Khan. Of course, when Lael said that, everyone didn't believe because they thought Lael was just a braggart. After that, Lael continues his childhood story. One day, Lael, who is playing with Rupa, is again bullied. But this time, his friends throw stones at Lael. Unable to do anything, finally Rupa told Lael to run as fast as he could. Stupid Lael could only do what Rupa said, even though his leg was lame, but at that moment, Lael tried to force himself and ran as fast as he could. Extraordinarily, on that day a miracle happened because suddenly, Lael could run upright and very fast. Because of that day, Lael has a new hobby which is running, and he spends his time running from place to place. Then, one day, Lael goes to Rupa's house, but at that time Lael sees Rupa crying. The reason Rupa cried that day was because at that time, her father was drunk and he forced Rupa's mother for money. Even little Rupa tells Lael that she wants to be rich so her parents don't fight, because Rupa's father is angry because he doesn't have money. What made Rupa even sadder because her father couldn't hold back his emotions so Rupa's father hit his wife, and Rupa's mother died. Since that day, there was no one to take care of Rupa, and because of that, Lael's mother decided to take care of her, so that from that day on, Rupa lived with Lael. Rupa and Lael kept together until a few years later. In fact, they both studied at the same university. Unfortunately, Lael's childhood friends who used to bully him are also studying at the same place. That's why, even though he is in college, Lael is still being bullied. One day, Lael, who is being bullied, runs as fast as he can, until a track coach sees him and notices Lael's amazing running ability. Because of that, Lael is asked to be the representative for the track race for his university. Unexpectedly, Lael always wins from match to match in the running race he takes part in. Then, in her final year of college, at that time, Rupa was being courted by a very rich and handsome man. 
One day, Lil meets Rupa who is having a date with that guy. At that time, the man who was trying to approach Rupa tried and forced to kiss her, but Rupa didn't want to because they had just gotten to know each other, and Rupa also felt uncomfortable. Seeing this incident, without thinking, Lil immediately slapped the man, and at that moment the man was angry and immediately told Rupa that he would not come near her again. Rupa immediately scolds Lil for doing that. Rupa says that man is a rich man and he can change Rupa's life. Hearing Rupa's words, Lil feels guilty and they both sit down. At that moment, the two of them talked about their future, and Rupa said that her dream after graduation was to become a model or an artist, because Rupa wanted to be a rich person. Whereas, Lil says that after graduating college, his goal is to join the military because it was his mother's request. Not without reason his mother did that, but because Lil's father, Lil's grandfather, even Lil's great-grandfather were all military men. After that, for the second time, Lil asks Rupa if she wants to marry him. But again, at that moment, Rupa didn't answer Lil's question. Then, the film returns to the present. On the train, more and more people are seen listening to interesting stories from Lail. Everyone is concerned about Lail because they heard his story, where he had asked a woman to marry him, but had yet to get an answer. At that time, Lail had just graduated from college and according to his mother's wish, Lail enlisted in the military and entered the army. On the first day of attending the academy, Lail, who indeed looked very strange, was again bullied by his friends. Luckily, back then, there was a guy named Bala who was very kind to Lael. They both chatted and became close friends that day. There, Bala also told Lael that in fact he had expertise and passion in making underwear, because his father and grandfather worked as underwear makers. Finally, after that, Lael and Bala follow the academy. At the academy, they meet a colonel who is very strict. After completing several days of training, the colonel gives the impression that Lael is a genius. Of course at that time Lael was confused because all his life, he was always considered stupid. But in fact, the reason the colonel branded Lael as a genius was because Lael never disobeyed orders and what his colonel ordered. Even Lael said that his schooling during elementary school was more difficult than his military academy because at the academy, he no longer needed to think critically, he only needed to follow what his superiors told him to do. One day, Bala asks Lael if he will learn to make underwear. Lael who is very innocent then wants to be taught by Bala. After being taught by Bala, unexpectedly it turns out that Lael is very skilled and very thorough in making underwear. Finally, in his spare time, Lael finds time to make underwear for Bala, his colonel, and his friends at the academy. Of course, because of that, his friends started to like Lael. After several months of studying at the military academy, one night Lael misses Rupa, because they haven't seen each other in a long time. That night, Lael is reading the newspaper and he is shocked because it says that Rupa is being detained by the police. The news stated that the reason Rupa was detained by the police was because Rupa, who was pursuing her dream as a model, was willing to do work by taking pictures naked. Because of that, many people boycotted Rupa so the police arrested her. After reading the news, Lael is worried about Rupa and the next day, Lael decides to take leave and meet Rupa in Mumbai. Arriving in Mumbai, Lael meets people who are trying to boycott Rupa by humiliating and insulting her. An angry Lael finally slapped the people who did that one by one and after that, Lael met Rupa. They both talk till night and Rupa asks why again Lael is doing something dangerous for her. As beating up the society is very risky and Rupa requests that Lael not try to protect her anymore. But Lael says that he is determined to protect Rupa from everyone who tries to hurt her, even if the person is dangerous. And, for the third time, Lael asks Rupa if she wants to marry him. At that moment, finally Rupa gave an answer, that Rupa liked Lael but only as a friend. Rupa also said that their lives were very different, where Rupa wanted to be rich and successful while Lael just wanted to be an ordinary person. After that, Rupa leaves Lael, but before that, Lael tells Rupa that in a few days, Lael will be assigned to the battlefield. Rupa, who really wants to become a famous artist, is willing to become a mistress for a producer so that she has chosen to play in a film. Elsewhere, Bala and Lael are assigned to participate in a cardinal war between India and Pakistan's radical forces. At night, before the war, Bala talks about many things with Lael, starting from telling his wife and children and then his family, until Bala asks Lael if he wants to open an undergarment business together with him when they both finish their duties in the war. Bala also explained all his plans, later Lael would be handed over to produce while Bala's job would be in the field of marketing. Lael agrees and they both make a deal, that after the Cardinal War, they will open a business together. The next day, while heading to the battlefield, Lael looks very scared. Bala tries to strengthen and calm Lael, and also reminds him that after this war is over, the two of them will open a business together. A few moments later, they arrived at the battlefield and the situation was very chaotic, 
because of the incessant fire from the opposing side. The commander of the Indian army felt that it was impossible for them to win this war because the number of opposing troops was too much. Finally, the commander decided to call in reinforcements to deliver long-range fire. Because of that, the Indian troops had to leave the place immediately so as not to be hit by long-range fire. Unfortunately, at that critical moment, Lail was hit by a bomb so he was unconscious. Lail's friends try to wake up Lail, they keep screaming and running. Because of Bala's screams, Lail wakes up and he, who is still semi-conscious, is clueless. All he knows is to run, and the stupid thing he did was to leave Bala. After running far enough, suddenly Lail realizes that he was just running alone and he has left Bala. Then, Lail decides to come back again, but after returning to the battlefield, the situation becomes very chaotic and Lail finds it difficult to find Bala because there are many Indian soldiers who are injured and are still alive and they ask Lail for help. Finally, Lail carried the soldiers one by one. Lail ran here and there to help his friends, starting from one person, two people, three people, to several people. Even Lail who is stupid, he accidentally helps his Pakistani opponent. Of course the Pakistani was surprised when Lail helped him. After helping several people, finally Lail finds Bala with a state that has been shot. There, Lail tries to save Bala. Sadly, Bala's injuries were very serious and that's why, shortly after, Bala finally died. Of course Lail cried very hard because his best friend had passed away. Next, the film returns to the present. On the train, it was seen that the people who had listened to Lail's story about Bala's death also shed tears because they empathized with the death of Lail's best friend. Lail continued his story again, where the war was finally over and Lail, who was shot in the buttocks, had to be treated. While being treated, it turns out that Lail is next to an enemy, a Pakistani who had been saved by him. That person's name is Muhammad Paji. Incredibly, no one in India knew that Muhammad Paji was a Pakistani who was an enemy party. Even innocent Lail doesn't realize it until that moment. At that time, Lail invited Muhammad Paji to chat, but Muhammad Paji just kept silent because actually Muhammad Paji was not happy but instead sad because he had been saved by Lail and had to have both legs amputated because he was shot. On the other hand, it turns out that Rupa is still the mistress of the producer who is also a criminal, and unfortunately, Rupa still hasn't gotten what the producer promised, a role to play in a film. A few months later, Lail was informed by his leader that he received a humanitarian award from the president for what he did on the battlefield, for saving several soldiers who took part in demonstrations and wars. The next day, Lail goes to the presidential palace to receive an award, there is also Lail's mother, and of course Lail's mother is very proud of what her son got. After attending the event, Lail's mother tells Lail that he should quit the military academy, as his mother does not want Lail to be in any more danger. His mother told him to go home, and Lail complied with his mother's request. Thus, he retired from the army. While on the way home, by accident, Lail saw Rupa who was in the car. Without thinking, Lail immediately ran after the car. Lail keeps running until the car stops at a hotel, and Rupa is seen leaving with his secret boyfriend, the producer. Lail continues to follow Rupa until he sees the producer being rude to Rupa. Seeing Rupa being treated harshly, Lail cannot remain silent. He immediately beat the producer and the producer, who is a mobster, took out a gun. However, the people there stopped the producer seeing Lail who was in military attire and did not want to cause trouble. Finally, Lail leaves with Rupa. Since they had not seen each other for a long time, the two of them chatted about many things from night to morning. Anyway, Rupa says that the man who was hit by Lail earlier was his boyfriend, and actually the man was a good person. However, sometimes he gets out of control and can't hold back his emotions to act rudely like that. Lail who has grown up immediately tells Rupa that he wants to be Rupa's boyfriend and he will not treat Rupa the way that guy did. But again, Rupa refuses Lail, because Rupa says that she has to go to Dubai to pursue her dream. And after that, again Rupa parted ways with Lail. A few weeks later, suddenly Muhammad Paji asked Lail to meet. The innocent Lail happily meets Muhammad Paji at his house. When he got there, Muhammad Paji looked very miserable because he lived in a very shabby house and was in poverty. After that, Muhammad Paji invited Lail to watch a lecture from an Ustad, because Muhammad Paji is a Muslim. Muhammad Paji said that the reason he went to the war was because he realized that what was explained by some religious leaders and what was explained in the Quran was sometimes very different, and that was why Muhammad Paji realized that he went to the war because he had been brainwashed. It turns out that the reason Muhammad Paji wants to meet Lail is because he still holds a grudge against Lail for saving his life. Muhammad Paji believes that if he dies in a state of war in jihad, he will go to heaven. There, Muhammad Paji cursed at Lail and said that he was Lail's enemy. After hearing that, innocent Lail fell silent. 
Muhammad Paji, who was at the lowest point in his life and no longer believed in religion, became an alcoholic. And because his alcohol ran out, Muhammad Paji invited Lail to treat him to alcohol. Arriving at the bar, Lail tells Muhammad Paji that he is planning to open an undergarment business, which was the plan of his deceased best friend, Bala. At first, Muhammad Paji laughed after hearing Lail's plan, he belittled Lail to open his own business. Even Muhammad Paji said that if Lail managed to open the business, he would voluntarily become a marketing team for Lail. A few days later, as per the wishes of his mother, Lail returns home and starts building his business. Lail started his business according to a plan made by Bala long ago, and he started buying three sewing machines and hiring two people to make underwear. After several weeks of work, Lail finally collected thousands of underwear. But Lail is confused, because according to Bala's plan, someone should work in the marketing department to market his product. Suddenly, Lail remembered Muhammad Paji's words, if he was willing to help Lail in the marketing department, then Lail immediately sent a letter to Muhammad Paji. Unexpectedly, a few days later, it turns out that Muhammad Paji came to Lail's village and said that he would keep his promise. So starting that day, Muhammad Paji became a marketing team to market underwear made by Lail. After that day, Lail along with Muhammad Paji delivered the undergarments to the shop for sale. But damn, it's been a few days, but the underwear produced by them hasn't sold out yet. One day, Muhammad Paji thought of something. He thinks that maybe what's wrong is not the product, but the brand. Earlier, Lail had branded the underwear with his best friend's name, Bala. Finally, at that time, Muhammad Paji suggested that the brand be replaced with a woman's name. Lail thinks about changing his underwear brand to Rupa. A miracle ensues after Lail changes his underwear brand. Eventually, his sales began to grow. From day to day, more and more products are successfully sold. Even after several months later, finally Lail managed to set up a factory. Then, the film returns to the present. On the train, people couldn't believe what Lail was telling them. Because in fact, nowadays, a company with the name Rupa is one of the biggest fashion companies in India. One of the gentlemen who listened to Lail's story told Lail that his story was very good, but Lail could not lie to them, because how could Lail be an inventor of a famous company, because now Lail is sitting with people in an economy train without air conditioner. Everyone in the train also laughs and thinks that Lail is a braggart. Until finally, Lail showed a magazine with a photo of him with Muhammad Paji who was labeled as the best businessman in India that year. Of course everyone there immediately fell silent, and finally they believed that the founders of the Rupa company were Lail and Muhammad Paji. Lail then continues his story again. Since founding the Rupa company, Lail and Muhammad Paji have become very rich. But Lail never forgets his best friend, Bala. So Lail gives some of his wealth to Bala's children and wife. One day, Muhammad Paji saw the news on TV that his country, Pakistan, was in conflict. Finally, on that day, Muhammad Paji told Lail that he wanted to return to his country because he wanted to help the people who were in trouble there. Muhammad Paji also advised Lail not to think about money anymore, because all of Lail's wealth had already been invested. Muhammad Paji has also looked for the best people for Lail's company, so actually Lail just needs to sit back and enjoy life. Hearing that, Lail is very sad because he has to part with one of his best friends again. But in the end, Lail had to let go of Muhammad Paji. They both split up. A few days later, Lail received news from one of his village neighbors that his mother was sick. After learning the news, Lail immediately decided to return to his hometown. When he reaches home, Lail is informed that his mother has cancer and that her time is not long. That's why Lail decided to stay in his village for a few days to take care of his mother at the end of her life. Lail's mother messages him about his wealth. His mother said God only asked Lail to keep just enough, and the rest should be given to needy people. After that, Lail's mother passed away. Few days later, Lail carried out the advice given by his mother. He donated part of his wealth to build hospitals and gave them to people in need. Apart from that, Lail also decided not to return to his company, because Lail's mother gave a message to him to continue the field she had been working on. Because of that, Lail became a farmer from that day. After several months of farming, one day, Lail, who was sitting in front of his house, was shocked when he saw Rupa visiting his house. He doesn't know why, but on that day Rupa decided to go back to her hometown and since that day, Lail and Rupa have lived together. They got closer, and those times were the most beautiful times for Lail, because he could live with the person he loved. Until one night, for the umpteenth time, Lail asked Rupa if she wanted to marry him. Now, Lail has become a rich man and it is Rupa's dream, Lail also promises to take good care of her. But again, Rupa just kept quiet. Finally, at that time Lael realized that Rupa had never loved him. 
Finally, Lael says that he knows the reason Rupa doesn't want to marry him is because he is stupid. But even though he is stupid, Lael says that he knows the meaning of love. After that, Lael leaves Rupa. Rupa who sees Lael angry for the first time, feels guilty and finally she follows Lael to his room. Rupa apologizes and hugs Lael. The moment became more intimate and finally they both made love that night. In the middle of the night, when Lael is sleeping, suddenly a policeman knocks on Lael's house. And it turned out that the police intended to pick up Rupa because Rupa's boyfriend who used to be a producer was involved in a crime and Rupa was suspected of being involved in it. Because of this, Rupa is forced to go with the police and she does not inform Lael. The next morning, when Lael wakes up, he immediately looks for Rupa, because Rupa never told him that she would leave him. Because he couldn't find Rupa anywhere, finally Lael sat pensively and he realized that Rupa had never really loved him. At that moment, Lael remembered the words of his mother who always said Lael had to forget his past. Finally, to forget Rupa, Lael starts running from his village to another village and to several villages. After circling all the villages in his town, Lael didn't stop and he continued running from one town to another. One month, two months, even Lael keeps running till one year. Lael kept running around India until many people knew that Lael kept running. The media also glances at Lael and thinks there must be a reason why Lael keeps running. After four years non-stop running around India, Lael is getting famous all over India. In fact, many people follow Lael to run, because people think that Lael is a symbol of hope. Until one day, Lael decided to stop running. Of course the media immediately asked what was the reason for always running for that long, but Lael just kept quiet and didn't answer. After that, Lael decides to go home. On the other hand, it turns out that Rupa has started her new life, because she has been released from prison. Unintentionally, Rupa sees the news that a crazy man has been running around India for four years. Rupa is shocked when she sees that the man is Lael. Rupa immediately sent a letter to Lael and asked Lael to visit Rupa at his new home. When he receives a letter from Rupa, Lael is very happy. Without thinking much, he went straight to the town where Rupa's house was. Then, the movie is back on the train. When Lael was telling many people, it turned out that on that day he was going to Rupa's house and right at that moment, Lael stopped in the city where Rupa's live. There, Lael tells the people that he will get off the train. Everyone who listened to Lael's story gave encouragement and hoped that Lael could be with Rupa. When he arrived at Rupa's house, Lael was surprised to find that Rupa already had a son. Of course Lael is very sad and he asks who is the lucky man who can be the father of that child. Rupa immediately replied that his father's name was Lael Singh Chada. Lael who is innocent can only laugh thinking his father's name is the same as his. Until finally, Rupa said that Lael himself is the child's father. Hearing that, Lael was speechless. Rupa never tells Lael that in fact, after they made love four years ago, Rupa was pregnant with Lael's child. Immediately, Lael burst into tears because he felt irresponsible to let Rupa take care of the child alone. Lael who still feels guilty asks Rupa if the kid isn't stupid like him. Rupa replies that their son is very smart. Hearing this, Lael can only shed tears of joy, and a few days later, Lael and Rupa decide to get married. After that, Lael and Rupa and their child live happily. Until one day, it turned out that Rupa had a very serious illness. And sadly, Rupa passed away. Before she dies, Rupa tells Lael that she is very grateful to have met and married Lael. Apart from that, Rupa also says to Lael that she believes Lael will be able to take care of their child. At the end of the film, it is shown Lael visiting Rupa's grave. There, Lael said that he really missed Rupa. Besides that, Lael also said that their child was a very smart child. After that, the film was over. In this film, we can learn from Lael. Sometimes life just needs to be lived without thinking too much about it. Even though Lael was bullied since childhood, and at the end of the film, the person he loves dies. But life brings us to experience a lot of suffering, and that should not be a problem because in the end, there will be happiness.